So, if I cry on camera today, don't stop rolling. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're here in the basement of the house where I spent the bulk of the pandemic. And I'm mostly here to collect some origami that a certain someone made during the pandemic. Will I be able to find it is the question. My ex really got into origami during the pandemic. He wanted to do a short film using his origami that he made as a way to talk about isolation and the creative process and whatnot. One of the things that he and I bonded over was the creative process because COVID is kind of where I kind of leaned into my own creativity. During the test shoot that we're going to be doing for today, big day, so excited about it. Largely, I'm going to be celebrating chosen family and queer friendship, but also it's kind of a way to say goodbye. Many a time during my first kind of half-hearted attempts at solo sobriety, I would walk all over Westbrook every morning because I would wake up and just need to do something. I love this fucking mill. I'm very excited about today. The biggest word that comes to my mind when I'm with James or working with James is comfortability because there's never been a moment that I have been surrounded by James where I haven't been completely and utterly comfortable in doing anything, trying something new, doing a new pose, wearing a new piece of clothing, something that I wouldn't normally do. It just feels so natural and feels so comfortable. I couldn't be happier when I'm shooting with him because it just feels right. It feels correct. I got sober during the pandemic, so for me, like doing something like this just solidifies all the relationships that I've built. Like I didn't know them before I got sober, I didn't live up here before I got sober, so um, for me it's like an expression of like a new life that I've built. Mm -hmm. Well congratulations. Thank you. I like the theme of queer family, chosen family, because I do consider us a family, you know. We're 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 two people and a dog, but we're still we're still a family. A hospital wouldn't consider us a family. A life insurance company wouldn't. But I think that um, I think that recognizing that we made that commitment to each other, even though we don't ever plan on getting married or um, you know having children, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that. We still consider ourselves a family. Um, a, it, it speaks. It speaks to me, and I think it speaks to us and our and our, our, our personal relationship. I think what I love about his concept like this is like it's queer family. So you have this overarching idea of like what queer family looks like, and he was like. I want to shoot all these little pods of what like these families are because yeah we are made, like one big family but we all have like our little units per mm -hmm. se. I think what's really cute about that shot is James, I don't know if he's like come out publicly with it, I won't give his name but he, I think I just talked to Shar about becoming part of the house of money and like having the three of us there and like Shar has other kids and I have other siblings but like 
us that are in Portland doing that and like being creative together, it just felt like, oh yeah, here we are. And I think I said, I love that, um, that painting in Schitt's Creek where like the, mm -hmm. the massive like family portrait where they're just like looking regal on the chair. And I feel like there's something very potent about like queer families posing as like regality. Cause yeah. you know, we see like usually cis het white people as that. And like, mm -hmm. here we are a group of like oh. multiracial queer people with different gender identities looking fucking fabulous. Mm -hmm. And we need more of that. I feel very fortunate mm -hmm. that even being a same-sex couple, that this isn't a possibility, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and that we can be celebrated in this way. Yeah. Very fortunate that James can have that opportunity to photograph us. Mm -hmm. Mwah. And yeah. that links to the last question that I have for you. So, what is it like to just be in that space with James and have him being in one team? Comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I think even if you're not necessarily James's biological family, he's really good at just making people feel comfortable. Exactly. Him, For sure. Today might be the very end of, or a representation of the end of my COVID era love story. Because I was, as I was, we, we, the three of us had breakfast earlier today and kind of talked about like this aspect of the shoot and how like part of what I wanted today to be was to celebrate, you know, like friendship and family not necessarily like romantic love or like sexual love, which we put such an emphasis on. He wanted to do a short film using his origami that he made as a way to talk about isolation and the creative process and whatnot. One of the things that he and I bonded over was the creative process because COVID is kind of where I kind of leaned into my own creativity. Largely, I'm going to be celebrating chosen family and queer friendship. Um, but when, while we are figuring out the lighting and the set and all of that, I want to use it as an opportunity to not only use the romantic love and the romantic relationship that recently ended for me as kind of a jumping off point for what I hope to start prioritizing more in my own life, which is platonic love and friendship and family, um, but also it's kind of a way to say goodbye. Queer family and queer friendship and queer love has always been
prevalent in my life, mostly because like a lot of the people that I surround myself with are within the queer community. And I find that there's so much more safety and so much more peace and so much more love in like a queer community rather than in like a heteronormative community because of like all the barriers that have been set up and just being able to be free and open and loving with one another is just the most important thing to me and being able to do that through the pandemic and gaining new friends and gaining new family has just been so draw-droppingly amazing and I'm so grateful for the people in my life that have come together in these like rough times as you could say and I'm just very happy, yeah.